are. Lois said you left these. I ate some cookies, enough with the milk. Do you have any pork rinds? No. Come and sit and talk to me for a minute. I'm really glad you chose my house for your hideout. This little place is pretty neat. Yeah, I like it too. I want you to know, though, you scared your parents. Really scared your parents when you ran away. But I did them a favor. They were fighting because of me. Well, that's what you thought. But you know that that's not true now, don't you? Hmm? Yeah, good. See, whatever your parents' problems are, you are not responsible for them. Okay? They are. Then why don't they fix them? Because some problems are a little harder to solve than others. Why? The kind of problems they have, you see, they require communication and communicating. You know, talking to each other and trying to understand each other's problems. And all that takes time. That is so dumb. You sound just like your father. <clears throat> but I'm going to let you in on a little secret. What? I think that your parents are working on solving their problems right now. More than anything in the world, I want to be with the father of my baby. Ben is what I've always wanted. I want a family. I want a home. I want somebody to love me. Why can't you have that? Because? Because why? I can't have it. I, I can have that. I mean, I can make it work. Okay, yeah, but just don't get ahead of yourself. Remember, this is a complicated situation. No, you know what? It's not that complicated. Why shouldn't my baby be raised by his father and his mother? Yeah, but do you really think you can make that happen, considering who the father is? Well, especially considering who the father is. Don't you understand that I want my baby to have this man in, in, his, in his life? That's what I want in my life. And I'll have everything. Uh, have you thought about this? Have you thought what you'd be getting yourself into? Oh, Ben, come on. All I ever think about is everything that could go wrong and how it couldn't work, but I never stopped and really said, you know what? This is what could really make me happy. Well, maybe there's a reason for that. No, I know what I've got to do. What? i got to see Max. I can tell him the truth. About what you want? Yes, and once he knows and there'll be nothing standing in our way, we can have everything. We can be a family. You know, I gotta tell you, Blair, I'm a bit surprised. What? Because all this time, I thought the guy you wanted to be with was Todd. Todd is. So let's all this talk about Max and be with the father of your baby. Because you don't understand, I will be. Todd, he... He, he is the father of Star. Oh, gosh, I'm... I'm my hormones just make me babble. Okay. So you want to be with Todd. You want this big, happy family with Todd. More than anything. Do you think Todd can get past the fact that you're having Max's child? A week ago, I would have said no way. But now I think that there's a possibility. Why? What's changed? Nothing. Except Todd. Come on, Sarah. Let's go. We're going home? Yeah. We're going home. Does this mean you and Mommy are communicating? Okay, you're not allowed to talk to Auntie Vicky anymore. Have you been talking to her? Yes. Great. Well, I'm sure you've got enough advice to last the rest of your life. Now, come on, let's go. Uh, Star, honey, before you go, would you do me a favor, please? And just take this tray back to Lois in the kitchen. Yeah, sure. Whoa. Why can't you just get some pork rinds? What? What happened? Did you talk to Blair? Actually, Blair did most of the talking. Okay, did you tell her how you feel? Well, she took all the milk. Did you talk about the baby? Blair has her own ideas about how to raise this baby. What does that mean? Are you okay? I'm not so good, actually. I think I'm having a bad hair day. Todd, you've got a weird look. I was going for saucy, but the spray gel doesn't seem to be working. Don't do that. I'm serious. 
Star, come on, let's go. Come on, you've got that look on your face that you get when you're about to do something. No, I don't have a look on my face. How would you know anyway? Because the last time I saw that look was the day that you were going to marry Blair, and things turned out kind of badly, if you remember, because of a misunderstanding. No wedding is perfect. I don't care what they say. And you regretted what you did that day. Please don't let that happen again. Star, come on, let's go. I am worried about you. You want a cookie? Vicky, I'm fine. You cannot keep everything all locked up inside you. So what, do you think I should just let things go? Yes. You'll feel better. Good. Because that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to let everything go. You know, he doesn't express himself the way that we do. No one expresses themselves the way Todd does. But you know what? He's trying. At least he's trying to change. How? Well, when he found out that I was carrying Max's baby, he was angry, hurt, and miserable. But you know what? I think he's really trying to make peace with that. Because he cares about the baby, even though it's, it's not his. I mean, biologically. You're right. That's not the Todd I know. See? And let me tell you something else. When Star ran away, you've never seen a father that was more worried about his little girl. I mean, he loves her so much. How about you? Well, what about me? Does he love you? He... He admitted that he, he cared about me, you know. But, hey, with Todd, that's an equivalent of I love you. Ben, Todd is a good man. All right. But are you saying all this to convince me? Or yourself? Mother's in the attic. Bill? Yeah, well, you know Ben, Dad. Dad, yeah, come on, let's go. But, Daddy, what about Mommy? She knows the way. Dad. You know what? It's part of a surprise. You have a surprise for Mommy? Oh. Is it a big surprise? It's huge. Come on, let's go. Oh, uh, hold on. I just want to have uh, a quick word with Star before you go. Thank you. I want you to remember very carefully everything you and I talked about, okay? Your parents, both of them, love you very, very much. Even when they're having problems, they will always love you, okay? Do you ever get mad at Uncle Ben sometimes? Yeah, sometimes I do, and sometimes he gets mad at me. And when we have problems, we sit down and we talk about them, and we work them out, and we never, ever stop loving each other. Okay, we get it. I even get mad at your father sometimes. But he's family, and so I always love him. That will never, ever change, okay? Do you understand that? Do you? I think she does. She's a smart kid. Come on. coming home. Start it over here. Sit up. What did I do something wrong? No, you didn't do anything wrong. I am. Um... Okay. No matter what happens, you gotta promise me that you are never, ever going to run away from me again. What's gonna happen? Nothing. I just, you know, I need to know that I can count on you. You see, the thing is, sir, that, that you and me, well, you're a part of me, and I'm a part of you, right? And we're blood. And that's special. Then the baby's special, too. Yeah. Baby's not special. What do you mean? You just gotta promise me, Star, that you're not gonna run away again. I promise. Does this mean you and Mommy aren't fighting anymore? Got something up my sleeve for your mother. Is she gonna like it? Well, I don't think you're gonna like it, Star, but you gotta trust me and, and know that in the end, Everything's gonna be okay. I trust you. Okay. So 
will get lost in the left room. Star. I love you. I know. I love you too. Talk. Just listen. This is what we're going to do with Blair Kramer. <laughs> 